Good morning y'all, my name is Jordan or Jorwish and welcome to or back to my channel. So today is my last first day of school ever. We're coming back from winter break and honestly I plan to do a whole aesthetic morning with you guys but I just wasn't in the mood to film what I was doing so we're starting in the car. But yeah, I'm about to go to class, my first class of today and today I only have two classes. Oh, also it's Tuesday. If you're not a 1L and you have some sense, avoid classes on Mondays and Fridays, like please. So anyway, starting on a Tuesday. So I had like an extra day of winter break, which was nice. So I'm gonna head over to campus soon. I have secure transactions and I think that's gonna be my only class that's like I'll have a final for and everything else is, should be like essay based or like assignment based. I can't believe this is like my last semester of school ever in my life. I'm never going back to school ever again if I can help it. Winter break was nice. It was nice. I went on two trips. I went on a like, ski cabin trip. Make sure you check out that vlog. And then I went to Dubai. That vlog should be up definitely by the time this is posted so check that out and then um the other day i took my grad photos like it's all sinking in that okay jordan like you're really about to be done with this and i'm ready i'm ready and i'm excited we are about to go over to school i honestly thought my friend was gonna ride with me but she's already at campus because she's gonna try to do an earlier class i just can't do a 9 a.m I'm sorry, I'm like, this is my last kind of time where I'm not working, like, I'm not about to start with early mornings. And it's crazy because I'm a morning person, but it's just something about seeing people and being on that campus early that I'm just like, no. And I like having my morning so I can work out and make breakfast and clean and do YouTube stuff before I have to actually go into reality which is law school this class um i do not have the textbook yet i don't know i i honestly barely even know what secure transactions even is i just know it's something that could be on the bar so i was like okay let me just take it and that way i'll have taken like all my bar classes just because i don't want to learn too many things for the first time during bar prep just to kind of ease my mind yeah that's what we're about to do let me head on over oh my god also i don't even have all my grades back and the new semester has started and i thought it seemed to me like the when i was a 1l or even when i was a 2l that the 2ls and 3ls got their grades super fast and the 1ls were the ones who had to wait like when i was applying to 1l jobs and i was like oh my god i don't even have grades well i don't even have grades and i'm like i need this like i need to be like okay i am gonna graduate i mean i am gonna graduate god willing and all that but like goodness and you know the real reason or one of the main reasons why i really need my grades is because for some reason at this school you don't get your refund check until the grades are in and i also need the refund check like come on now so that's another reality and i'm like i'm not buying books until i get my refund check like i'm just not like if you want me to get the book so bad give me my money and i know it's different people but now nah, they can get it together howard can definitely do better and yeah but someone like in our administration recently like is like changing positions so i'm pretty sure that right now if it wasn't always already a little chaotic in that office it's probably even more because they're short one person and it's not even that many people there so there's that whole thing so anyway yes and then before my second class of the day which is entrepreneurship law i have a meeting for my job so yeah i actually i do work uh, i started working like 2l 2l winter semester and i've still been working so yeah i just have a meeting with my job it's, just, it's not like anything too crazy but i would prefer to do it at home but i don't think i'm gonna have enough time to like go back and forth so i think i'm gonna have to just take the meeting in um one of those library rooms i'm hoping that i can get one which I don't think it'll be too much of an issue and if it's really that bad i'll just take the meeting from my car but i don't want to do it in my car in case i have to share my screen like it's it's a lot it's a lot so yeah so i'm gonna head over to campus uh i'm dreading it like i'm dreading it like i don't want to go to school We made it. We made it. Mm, struggle. I've been with Kira since day one. <laughs> day one. Section one. On Zoom. Mm. And here we are. Hey. Employed <laughs> and soon to be free.
Look who it is. Wait, let me change the brightness. It's kind of dark. Okay. Hey guys, last semester. Mm. I've been having a nervous breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> that was louder than that. So she gave us this at the end of class. She <laughs> said we're gonna use this all semester, y'all. So. Secure. Trans, 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 our, sec our security yeah. interest something yeah, so yeah this is literally just a piece of yarn <laughs> but um i'm about to go to the library because i have a work call in like 20 minutes so yeah and then i have one more class i just got to my study room you would think that i was trying to take out a million dollar loan how hard it was for me to get the study room like i'm like what happened to you just gave your id get the key they had me sign in Get a code. Reactivate my lock. Like, why can't we just give out study rooms, bro? And no one is using the room. It's not even final season. But anyway, get the study room. Then I'm like, okay, before my meeting, let me get some water. Let me go to the cafeteria, buy a little snack, buy a little water. They don't have any water in stock. No water in stock. Only sodas and Gatorade. And I was like, no. So then I left, and I was like, okay, I'll just risk it with the water fountain. Once again, the water fountains don't work. I'm just like, let me just get this day over with because now I'm irritated. I'm irritated because what is going on at this school? Where is my money going for this tuition? And we don't have any water in stock and the water fountain's not working. Anyway, this is the view of Houston Hall right there. I'm about to set up because um, even though my meeting is in like 20 minutes, I need to just make sure the Wi-Fi is working here and just get my notes ready for this work call. Ooh, my edge is right there. But, um, yeah, that just kind of really blew me. Like, I, I get it. Maybe they were just about to refill the waters in the cafeteria. But the water fountains being out, that got to be some code violation. Like, I don't even like water fountain water. But I was willing to risk it. Yeah, I don't know. I might run to the vending machine. So let me like set up and then I might run to the vending machine or text a friend if she can give me water because this is crazy. Okay, on the way to the second class, Joanne and Juanis. And I'm gonna eat my lunch in class because I have my work eating. So yeah. Is this your second? I am finally back home. I love spring semester because literally I'm out of class. It's not dark outside. I'm home. It's not dark outside. So yeah, y'all, I think that class is going to be my favorite class of not even the semester, but probably all of law school. Like it's, um, I keep wanting to call it entertainment law. I, mean, I am taking entertainment law, but this is entrepreneurship something. And it seems like it has nothing to do with the law. Like it's literally just, we're like creating our own business plans and all that stuff and i i don't know what i was expecting but it wasn't that mind you he did send the syllabus in literally november but i just was not about to read that in november so um but yeah so i need to come up with like a business that i'm gonna start and like do all that um so yeah i'm excited i didn't eat anything all day besides breakfast because i was it was a little too intimate to eat in that class but this is what I got from the cafeteria. It's just a turkey and cheese spinach wrap. The spinach wraps go crazy at Howard, I'm telling you, they really do. Um, but, and I did talk to the manager of the cafeteria and I was like, ooh, I'm out of focus. I talked to the manager of the cafeteria and I was like, why don't you all have any water? And he was like, listen, we just got back. Yesterday was the first day back. I put in an order, it's gonna be here by tonight. So that's the update. I like hate my hair right now. I gotta do something with this hair. But anyway, I have a little bit of work to get done, so I'm just gonna work on that for the rest of the evening. Another thing, my professor, I ran into my professor in the cafeteria, my professor for my federal income tax class that I took last year during the spring, and she asked me to be a TA. Not her asking me to be a TA, like that class, I literally struggle with it. Like insert TikTok of me cramming for that exam. I'm like so honored that she asked me to be a TA. I told her I do already have a job, but that I would be a resource. I could still be a resource for this um, student. So that's what I'm gonna do also. Can't believe I'm just putting more on my plate, but I actually really like helping people. Like when I was a Civ Pro TA, I really enjoyed it. And yeah, I just like, I just like helping people. So yeah, 
but that was the first day back it wasn't too bad only two classes i think i'm gonna keep this vlog going for the week because i want to try to give you all longer vlogs and this is like the last semester of you all getting this type of content so soak it up honey still need to film my q a i did not forget to do that I'm just gonna put that up after my grad photo vlog because I need to get some stuff off of this camera. I'm procrastinating my work stuff and I'm procrastinating eating this food. So I'm gonna do that and I need to finish watching Ginny and Georgia. So that is it for my Tuesday. Good morning y'all, happy Wednesday. So the first class I have this morning is called bar skills. The professor is just gonna, I guess, be giving us tips for the bar exam. I'm honestly not taking it for that purpose. I'm really just taking it because I have two more credits that I need to get fulfilled. And people say this is like a chill two credit course. So that's what I'm gonna be in. I heard it's really just like a study hall. So hopefully it'll be that because it's annoying that I even have to take this many classes, but I would rather do this than ever do summer school because summer school just doesn't work for me. So. That's why I'm taking extra class this semester. Actually pretty early, but I might just go in a little early just so I can get my seat and like maybe get some footage for you all, so yeah. Thursday. So going back to school today. I've been sucking at vlogging, but this week has just literally been so draining and everywhere imaginable. My outfit is very basic. I'm literally just wearing sneakers, leggings, and my UCLA hoodie that I've had for forever. Yeah, we're heading to school. I have secure transactions, so we're going there right now. Um, I'm back home. I haven't been vlogging. It's been a long day, but anyway, my last class of the day is entertainment law and It's online. Thank you Jesus. So I'm um, have my laptop here and I'm about to log into the zoom and Do that class, but I'm also watching TV I'm watching my unorthodox life. Let me know if y'all watch this. I'm like so intrigued by this whole family but um Yeah That's basically it um, <laughs> this week has been not entertaining at all, but this is the reality of it. Okay, he's on here. Bye, y'all. Hello, I look like I just woke up. I still have my bonnet on. It's actually like 2.15, y'all. But I've kind of been having a lazy day. It's Friday. I have no classes on Fridays. Yay! And I just have had like a lot of stuff to get done this week. It was kind of just me getting my life together. I'm, you know, getting back in the swing of vlogging, getting back in the swing of school. I'm working and I, you know, January is like the month where like I need to get all of my tax stuff together and, you know, for YouTube and all that. So I kind of spent the morning doing that as far as i know i'm done but i'm gonna wait and to send it to my accountant until i have all my w-2s um which i don't have we'll note the date is january 13th so i mean it's pretty early in the year but like i want my w-2 so i can get this done so yeah did that then i just finished planning out some content i'm kind of have a scatterbrain though y'all because i don't know how i'm about to do this <laughs> I don't know um yeah so I'm just like figuring out I'm also just in a period where I'm trying to figure out my next steps with YouTube I've had my I cannot take myself serious with this bonnet maybe I don't know if I need to take it off it's staying on okay yeah I, I don't know like I don't know if I'm gonna continue well actually I know I'm not gonna continue doing law school content because I'm not gonna be in law school but I'm just trying to like branch out and figure out if um you know like what my next steps are basically with like this whole content creation thing and I do need to think about it because you know I know I can take you all into law school and everything but like I cannot do that with a real lawyer job like or I don't want to do that I'm pretty sure I cannot also so yeah so I'm just like thinking about stuff like that then I'm trying this new service because I absolutely hate doing laundry I'm trying happiness right 
um, because I just Googled like, oh, online laundry service. They were the first to come up and they're like, oh, we pick it up and we ship it to you the next day, da da da. Um, so it's supposed to be super easy, right? They charge you for the pound, by the pound, whatever. However much that's about to be, I will be sure to tell y'all. Um, because if it's ridiculous, then this is my first and last time doing happiness and I will find someone else. But one thing that I don't like about them off the bat is you don't know what time they're gonna come pick it up. Like, I didn't find out until like 11 a.m. this morning that they weren't gonna pick it up until 2.15, which it would be fine if like I lived in like a regular residential neighborhood where I don't have to worry about people stealing stuff, yada, 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 in a house. I live in an apartment and I don't wanna just have my clothes sitting in the hallway. Like don't even get me started on the people who live here. So yeah, I think I would prefer a laundry service where they're like, okay, we're scheduled to pick your stuff up at whatever time. Like even if y'all tell me the time, but just, I need a time. Also, I just need to make sure it's like apartment friendly. That's why I'm, I was supposed to get it yesterday, but I was like, let me just do it on a Friday when I know I can just be home all day and just really have this experimental day to not stress about if my clothes are still in the hallway or if someone else stole them or if the company actually got them. Like, let me just do it this way. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. But if you all know of a good laundry service where they pick your clothes, pick up your dirty clothes and they deliver them back folded and cleaned, let me know because that is what I'm trying to figure out. My apartment does not have in unit washer and dryer. So I'm just experimenting with this. We do have washing machines in the building. It's just in the basement. And I honestly, I could do that, but I just feel like I'm just super busy. Clearly as I'm just staying at home all day on a Friday, but typically like I'm super busy and I don't necessarily have the time to be home all day doing laundry. And the laundry in our building to me is pretty expensive. Like it's at least $2 every load that you wash. And I just feel like for that price, I could just get someone else to do it. And I won't have to be stressed out if someone's taking my clothes or like, okay, after I wash the clothes, I'm gonna fold them. Like I'm just trying to pay for convenience this year, okay? If I can afford it, I'm gonna do it, so yeah. So we're testing up laundry service. <laughs> then again today, I was gonna film something for a brand, but I'm not doing that until tomorrow because I was like, you know, I'm going to my friend's birthday tomorrow and so I'm gonna have to have makeup on for that. So me being the genius that I am, I'm just gonna one film actually two videos tomorrow in addition to continuing this vlog because I'm a good content creator. When I'm getting ready to go to Efi's birthday, I'm gonna film a chit chat get ready with me where I finally answer y'all's questions. Then once my makeup is done, I'm gonna film like a little sponsored segment of the video and I'm gonna continue the vlog because um, I just feel like this vlog has been so boring. Like I'm gonna try to continue it until at least Tuesday because at least then you all see what I'm doing this weekend. And also I'm gonna be taking graduation photos. Again, I know I did take my personal photos with like booking my own photographer, but this round of grad photos is gonna be all through Howard. And um, I actually have a bone to pick with Howard about this, but when do I not have a bone to pick with the school? But basically, so, you know, for girls at least, I feel like guys, it's not that big of a deal, but for girls, like we have to book, or if you're like me and you're just extra, I need my hair done and I need my makeup done for this um, graduation suit. Oh, and nails, because I think our nails are gonna be showing because I think we hold the thing. I'm not sure, but I just got my nails done. Just, one, I just keep my nails done, but I wanted a fresh set. So. I booked this like during winter break. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get my photos taken January 16th. It's the perfect day. It's MLK day, so I won't have to worry about, I already have Mondays off, but like, you know, just a chill day. And um, I also still have my weave-in from Dubai for my last grad shoot. Like I'm getting my money's worth out of this hair. It'll still be fresh enough. So, and like I book it with the makeup girl, like we have everything planned. And then I get an email yesterday while I'm in, class which class was while I was in secure transactions of the school basically telling me hey like actually campus is closed I'm okay day so you're gonna have to choose a new date um hope this doesn't inconvenience you or something really like that just was so passive anyway good thing I actually know my makeup girl and like she's not even my makeup like my friend Maya she does my makeup so she was fine I'm just gonna have to go to her at six o'clock in the fucking morning to get my makeup done but it's fine because she's just that good and i want professional makeup for these photos but i'm like i wanted to take this weave out 
like I wanted to take this out on Monday, but I, it's okay. Tuesday's not that bad, Jordan. It's just one more day. I'm just telling myself it's just one more extra freaking day. But when I tell you Tuesday night, this is coming out. It's coming out. And this will be almost a month with me having this hair in, and that's like the longest I've ever gone. I did get my hair like washed. I did go to the salon to get it like washed and re flat iron and stuff, but it still has been in this damn weave. You know, you can wash weave or whatever, and I'm ready for it to come out. So, yeah. Also, you know, I get like, I got like a facial to prepare for this. So, hopefully, my skin doesn't do anything crazy between now and Tuesday, which we're just gonna pray. I'm gonna drink my water. I've been eating my veggies, eating my fruit because please, I enjoy watching vlogs. People talk a lot, yes, but I also enjoy watching them do things. But I just haven't been the best at filming myself actively doing things this week because I really have not done much. Like, I've really just have been going to school, coming home, laying in bed, watching TV. So, yeah, every week is not about to be me doing this, that, and the third. But I'm vlogging it. So, yeah. But anywho, yeah, so I've really just been, um, you know, just getting my expenses in order for my tax season. I don't even have any readings to do because one, I don't have any books. I just bought one book for my secure transactions class and I'm telling y'all right now, if the professor didn't say that we could use this book during the final exam, I would not have bought it, but that, that will get me to buy a book. So I had to spend $60 on article nine or something, whatever for secure transactions. Then entertainment law, I'm getting the book from a friend and then the actual secure transactions like textbook. I ordered it from the library. Howard did not have the book in stock. I don't know, like, you know, you know the professors. I just thought if the professor is having students buy a book, like, the school has to have it at the library, but Howard didn't have it. But GW did. So I'm getting the book shipped from GW to Howard, and I'm gonna do a little finesse with that. And then I think. I don't think any of my other classes really require a textbook. For my IP patent clinic, the professor asked me to buy this workbook. It's $40, so I might do that, might not. But other than that, I don't think I really have to buy any other textbooks, which is good. It's so good. Um, and I don't have any reading. Well, I do have reading, but I can't do any reading because I don't have any books. So, yeah, that's just how this is going to go. I'll probably have to catch up on like two weeks worth of stuff next weekend but as of this weekend like this friday i'm literally just chilling i finished watching my unorthodox life and i think i'm gonna start watching this show i think it's called the bear whichever one has lip from shameless in it yeah i'm about to start watching that and that's basically it i will update y'all on this laundry situation because i just feel like i could have just been because i want to go to the grocery store but i was like let me wait to get my clothes I could have been to the grocery store and back by now. It's literally 2.30 and they still haven't come to pick up my clothes. So this might be my last time using Happiness. And I want to find a laundry service that just picks you up on time. Or like when I say to come, even if I just called someone this morning to come pick it up, like, I don't know. I just feel like the timing isn't really my favorite right now. That's it for this rant. I feel like this has been a vlog of rants, but let me know if y'all enjoy it or not. Jordan, Jordan, Jordan. Y'all, I just got my laundry delivered. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like all boxy like this because they folded it $34. All next day, it's like, I gotta go through, but it smells really good in here. Nice wrapped in plastic. But I did kind of have it out with these people on the phone. Okay, yeah, so basically I woke up and they messaged me like, hey, your laundry is going to be there between um, 8.40 and 8.50. And I'm like, okay, bet. Like, you know, again, I don't really know what time they're coming until they tell me. But, you know, it was nice. It's Saturday morning, like I'm in bed. But then at nine o'clock, my clothes still weren't here. So I kind of, I called them and texted them like, hey, like my clothes aren't here. They said it'll be here this time. And they were like, oh, it's just an estimate, but they're coming, they're coming. And it came, it came at like 940. So it was an hour off, but, and I was debating if I was even gonna keep this service. Cause I was like, is this really saving me any time? Like every time I do laundry, it's about like $20. And when I do it myself, so I, and that doesn't, and like, 
you know, I have to monitor the washing machine because it's public. Like, someone could take my clothes out, which they have before, or um, my clothes can be dry, but, like, none of the dryers are free. Or I'll dry my clothes and they're still wet because the dryer is messed up. Like, I've just kind of had it with doing laundry in this building, so... I think I'm gonna keep this because if I do $34 and I, I only wash clothes like maybe like it's rare that it's twice a month usually I just procrastinate and do once a month but because I had so many clothes this time this was like a month's worth of clothes and it was $34 I think I can do like every two weeks like that to me is not bad for for them to pick it up and get it delivered like that is not bad so I was gonna try to find a new service but I think I like happiness because I don't know I'm gonna try to call them to get more of a time frame because I'm just like okay what if I had what if I wasn't home when it got dropped off and you know I don't trust the people in my apartment building to just have my clothes sitting in the hallway so yeah I need to figure that out but so far so good um yeah I need to I've been having a chill morning though it's like 10 a.m. and I'm I'm having a chill day on purpose because I'm going out tonight so I'm just trying to chill before I film this chit chat get ready with me and then film something else and then go to Efi's birthday dinner so probably the next time you all see me will be when I'm about to go to um Efi's birthday dinner because I have to film two videos before that and I need to like get my get my equipment together but yeah I'm so happy that my clothes are back because <laughs> I was getting a little worried but I need to just not stress as much but yeah laundry services I recommend Next on my list, I need to find a good cleaning lady because that could be a whole story time on its own. Hey y'all, so today is actually Monday and it's MLK day, but I wouldn't have classes anyway because I don't have classes on Monday. Basically over the weekend, I didn't really vlog too much. I did go to Ify's thing. I think I'll include like the little clips I got of that. And then the rest of the weekend, I was really just hanging out with my boyfriend, so not much vlog footage. But right now, I randomly remember to vlog. I'm working on something for my entrepreneurship class. I really don't even know the name of the class. I think it's like entrepreneurship and the law or something. I'm working on my concept statement for that. I didn't really like... When I first join a class, I don't really be looking at the syllabus too hard because I'm just like, okay, whatever, I've done this, I'm a 3L, yada, yada, yada. But apparently, this class, like the whole thing we're talking about, our business proposal. And I thought, like I knew we'd probably have a project like that at the end of the semester, but no, day one, he's asking us, okay, what's your business idea? And yada, 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 and people really got an idea. I did not have any idea, so I had to like think about what I want. It's not due until this Friday, but I was like, let me just knock this out now because y'all know I don't like to do law school work during the week. So let me try to finish as much as possible by now so that on Friday, all I have to do is turn it in. So I was thinking about what business idea I was gonna do. And I had a lot of ideas. Like one of them was a, a laundry service to pick up your clothes. Cause y'all know that's new and dear to my heart right now. Then I was thinking about starting a nightclub, but then I remembered I did a nightclub business proposal for something I did in college. And yeah, I just don't feel like doing that again. Then I was thinking of like, like a diversity firm, like, I don't know, but, and like, I couldn't, and I was like, you know what, let me not even exhaust myself in this. Like, it's not like it has to be real. So right now my idea is a tequila company because I just feel like that's the new thing. Like everyone is coming out with a tequila company, so why not me? So basically I have to come up with a name for the business. This is a template he gave us. I have my name blocked out, okay, yeah. So yeah, concept statement, name of business, description of the product or service, target business aims to reach, benefits of the product or service, and how the business will sell or distribute the product or service. So we do have like a template I guess and it doesn't seem too hard plus another thing I love about this professor is that he wants it in size 14 font oh period like size 14 font I've never turned it in anything that big and this is kind of exciting because it's like it brings up my creative side and it's literally not like law school at all it's just like a fun class and we're just talking about you know how to build wealth in the black community and entrepreneurship and like the values of having multiple streams of income don't get me wrong at times it's feeling a bit like too black capitalist for me but 
I try not to think that deep into it and just kind of take it for what it is and understand the generational differences between you know people in that school but so yeah working on this then I need to go to Target I went to Target yesterday did a whole project that maybe I'll include in another vlog because I'm kind of redoing stuff in my apartment but anyway I forgot a couple things so I need to get that stuff from Target and then I'm actually taking graduation photos again tomorrow but these are my school portraits and I have to wake up really early because the time slot that worked for me was like nine something in the morning but I have to go get my makeup done and um, the girl who does my makeup, she lives in Virginia and I'm in DC so that's kind of going to be a hike especially during the week with rush hour so we're just going to hope everything works out and then of course tonight I have to like, um, I want to curl and pin curl my hair but yeah I need to figure out what my tequila company is going to be called I'll probably just put like a proxy name for now and then figure it out later but this is what I'm working on I still don't have textbooks for any of my other classes I think the only textbook I really need is secure transactions and I already told y'all what I'm trying to do with that but we'll see if that works and yeah so that's my update and yeah I'm just gonna be doing some work so Okay, so like 30 minutes ago, it's like 7 o'clock, around 6.30, I got an email from my school basically saying that the photographer who was supposed to do our grad portraits has tested positive for COVID, so it's like postponed until further notice. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm glad I don't have to wake up with the crack of dawn for tomorrow, and now I don't have to curl my hair or anything. But geez, because the whole thing was, y'all, I really want to take this weave out. And who knows how long I'm about to have it in. Because they're saying it's like TBD to help when we do it again. And then I had to just text Maya, who's about to do my makeup. Like, hey, girl, I'm actually not going to need that 6 a.m. appointment. Because my photos got canceled. So, yeah. That's <laughs> I'm about to just end the vlog here, y'all. I'll vlog for another week. But this week, I was just getting my life together. But... Thank y'all so much for watching, and hopefully I'll have more eventful weeks to come, but I just cannot believe how I just canceled my photos like this. But, I mean, I guess, you know, the photographer got COVID, so stay masked up, y'all. I'm about to start double masking, because it's back out here. Uh-oh, the game in trouble. Started out smiling, they paying me double. Yeah, you can drip chip, baby, like mustard. Yeah.